All right, hello, my little comers. So today, I'm gonna, excuse me, hold on, let me let me answer my my message real quick. Okay, so today I'm gonna tell you guys a little story that happened to me when I was young and dumb. <laughs> By young and dumb, I mean uh, quite a few years ago. Um, so this story takes place when I was 18 years old, and no wait, yes, I was 18 years old, and I just got my first car, and. Me and my best friend, we wanted to go, you know, take a, a drive. I guess you can call it a drive. And we were going to go to San Francisco. So, the thing was, we were going to go to the Golden State Park, is what it's called, that we were going to go to, but that's not what happened. Um, because I got lost, and it is how the story begins. So, I'm 18 years old, I just got my new car. And my, my new car, I mean my very first ever car, it was a 1998, yeah, 1998 Honda Civic. And I actually got that car from her, <laughs> which was funny, in my opinion, because, you know, we, I, th we, I still have the car, but I don't drive it. Um, no, no, it, it's a long story. Um, so anyway, so I go to pick her up, right? Now, I'm from, Sam uh, not from, Sam I'm from Sacramento, and... I, you know, I, I li live here. I don't know why how I had to say that shit. But anyway, so I go to get it, okay? So we decided that we were going to go to the beach. And we were first going to go to Monterey. And then we thought we were going to go to, uh, what the hell that place called? Palo Alto? Yeah. But we decided we we're going to go to San Francisco. And I told her, I said, well, let's go to the Golden Gate Park. Now, I didn't know that's not the correct name, but whatever, I don't care. So, we decided we're going to go there, and I'm driving, okay? So, we're driving a long way, all that shit. Now, where I live, it takes about... Well, it kind of depends. Because we go, we call it the back way. Now, the back way is like a longer way. It's a longer highway to go there. So, it's less traffic, but it takes a long time to get there. So, it's about an hour and a half. Yeah, about an hour and a half. So we leave at noon. And I decide, okay, well, let's go the back way. Because I don't, I don't like driving on the freeway in general because people irritate the fuck out of me. And number one, it scared me. Number two, I did get, I have bad road rage. That's what's bad about me. And so we decided to go the back way. And I said, okay, okay, we'll, we'll, go, we'll go to the gas station. I'm going to fill up the tank grab some snack, get the ice for the ice cooler, and, and we'll have a little barbecue and whatnot. So it's just me and her, you know, we, we travel all the time together. And we'll get, we, I don't know how this happened because on the freeway, you know, how it says like the name, like San Francisco North or whatever, the little sign, you know, the green sign. So I'm going and I turn off where it says San Francisco East. No, North. Yeah, north. And I go I go down the I take the exit and I'm telling her, Okay, well, you know, we're gonna go this way because apparently that was that way. I I never been at the I never drove the back way to San Francisco. I normally go like where I live in Sacramento, we call it the back way that go towards Fairfield. And we call it the Delta, if you guys know what I mean. So anyway, so I take the exit. Now I'm going, you know, we're going, we make it to San Francisco. So, where we were at, there's like a little, like, town, and it's covered, like, in a mountain area. Like, there's, little, like, houses, like, here's the mountain, and there's houses in between the mountains. So, we go there, we're going through the place, and then I told her, well, I'm going to go to the right, because I can literally see, like, the San Francisco, like, you know, the, the pier area thingy. Like, you know, like, you can see it from afar. So I decided to go to the right because the sign says San Francisco and I'm thinking, okay, well, it'll pop up, you know, one way, the beach area. So we get to the area and it looked like a beach and I'm assuming because what I passed by was the Golden Gate Bridge. So I'm thinking it's the Golden Gate, you know, bridge, park thingy, uh, beach, because it was the beach. So we get out of the car. All right, and we unload our stuff, all that crap. And then I told her, I said, well, let's go down this, this way and we'll find a place away from people. Because I don't know about you guys, but like 
when I go to the beach or I go to like a public place in general, I like to stay away from people. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but I just always been like that. So I tell her, okay, we're going to go this way. And there's this little rock, like this big old boulder thing. And I said, well, let's go here. There's nobody here. And she goes, okay. So I get, we get up, put our stuff down. We, we set up all that crap. And I noticed something very odd about the beach. Is that the people that we saw weren't there no more. And I was like, well, did everybody go home or something? It's only like 3.30. No. Yeah, about 3.30. Because um, we'll, we, after the beach, we're going to go hang out with our friend that lives in um, San Francisco. And... I'm like, okay, well, I'll hit up Davy, and that's not really her name, but we're just going to call that. And she goes, oh, well, maybe she can come join us. I'm like, okay, we can have a barbecue, because I bought the barbecue. And so she gets here, right? So it took about, like, maybe, like, 45 minutes to get to us. And she goes, Matt, do you realize where you are? And I'm like... At a beach, duh. <laughs> like you don't think anything of it, right? And so she goes, "No, Matt. Like this ain't this ain't a like a daytime thing." And I'm like, "Oh, girl, quit." You know, she's like a mom. Like I'm a mom when it comes to clubbing and stuff, but like she's like a mom, like a real mom. <laughs> and she goes, "No, it um a nude beach." And I'm like, probably there is old people and kids around there. I'm, you can't be lying. And I'm like, thinking to myself, what a liar, right? And then all of a sudden, three grown buff men just walk by with, with you know, the jewels are down. I'm just like, oh. You know, like, you, you, you don't want to say that. I just, just look. And I was just like, we, Dobby. Look, there is people there, naked. And she goes, I know. I told you that. And I was like, well, first, I didn't believe it. So what do we do? We said, mind our own business. We said, you know, we have our barbecue. I, 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 I drove all the way here for nothing. And then, you know, we're, we're trying to ignore the fact that there was, like, a lot of people naked. And I'm just like, oh, my God. Like, like nowadays... You know, you think about it, it's funny. But, like, back then, you used to try to ignore it. So, anyway. Then, the group of people... Now, I don't know if they were having sex or not. Because those people were, like... You know, like they were doing something. And then, this guy comes... Like, he's jogging, right? With, so, I, I understand you're trying to appetite, but come on, man. So, he's jogging, and then he stopped, like, dead in the track... Looked at it fully clothed, right? Okay, number one, I'm too insecure for this bullshit. Number two, I'm fat. Number three, I'm short. And last but not least, I said, there is no way in hell I want to get naked at this place. Because number one, I was young and dumb and insecure. Now I'm old and wide and don't insecure. <laughs> so, he, he stopped dead in the track, right? And he looked at right at us. And I was just like, oh my god, please don't ask that weird thing. Please, please, please don't ask. And what'd he do? He comes up to like, why are you guys dressed? And I was just like, sir, if you do not mind, we are trying to have a barbecue. And if you if you stay a little bit too close to the barbecue, something might catch on fire. You know, because you got a bush. And he goes, oh, okay. And then like he walked away. And then he continued to jog. And I was like... What the fuck was that all about? And then my friend Dobby was just like, girl, I told you. And I was like, well, I'm so sorry, ma'am. I said, I understand that you were trying to wish it well, but I mean, come on. Like now, like now that you're older, I, that's funny as fuck. But like, you know, back then, you know, when you're kids, it, it, it's, it's a little different. But yeah, it was, <laughs> that's how I winded up on a nude beach. It was just. I mean, now it's funny, but, like, you know what I mean? Like, now when you're older, it's funny, but, like, back then, you kind of just, like, what the fuck had just happened? But, yeah, that that's how I winded up on a nude beach, so, hope you guys enjoy the story time. I mean, I gotta tell somebody other than, like, the few group of friends and my parents, but, yeah, hope you guys had a laugh. So, I'll see you sometime next week or later this week with another video.
Anyway, take care. Bye.